In this video, you're going to learn how to use hashtags to increase the visibility of your posts. Now, hashtags are essentially just a way to tell Instagram what your content is about. And with that, they can group content together. And one of the cool new features about Instagram is that you can actually now follow hashtags. So for example, on screen, you can see hashtag motivation. You can see how many posts that applies to 127 million. And I have the opportunity to follow that. So this is a great way as, a, as an owner, a business owner, a personal brand to increase your visibility. Because if I use the hashtag motivation, well, then I have the opportunity to appear in front of all those people who are following that hashtag, who are just who are who are just searching for that hashtag. So what I would recommend you do to get started to understand what hashtags you can use to increase your visibility is to come into the discovery tab on Instagram. By default, it's going to be on the top tab here, but you want to come across to tabs and then you want to type in a hashtag that you think could be related to your business. So something like motivation, for example, we can just type that in. Now, the cool thing is, is that when you type in one hashtag, just like uh, accounts itself, you can see related accounts or related hashtags. So we've got motivation, we can see determination, hard work, discipline, results. So what I would start to do is write down these hashtags. And if I was creating content similar to what I can see here, and that, that I think would be appropriate, I can start to note those down. Now, another way to find the appropriate hashtags that are going to get visibility for your posts is to come in and have a look at some of those top accounts in your niche and have a look at the hashtags that they are using. So if I come into a post here, we can see that doesn't seem to be a hashtags on that, but I'll come into this one. So we can see here debt free journey, debt free community, no mortgage, debt is dumb. And if I click into any of these, I can see how popular these hashtags are. So 83,000 posts before we saw motivation 127 million. So that is extremely popular. It might be hard to uh, catch the attention of people uh, following the motivation hashtag because there's probably a lot of competition. But you can see this hashtag debt free journey is much less competition on it in terms of only 83,000 posts. So anybody following this hashtag, if I use it, I have a much better chance of them seeing my post. So I would recommend for your own posts, you want to use maybe 20 hashtags, 10, which are big like that motivation, etc. And maybe 10 that are very niche specific, like debt free journey that is dumb, no mortgage, etc. And, and a good way to come in and find out New Year's goals, debt free. So you can see debt free seems to be a pretty big one. Yeah, 500,000 posts. So you can use maybe those bit high volume, medium or really niche, or you can break them up. But in total, you want to be using about 20. So let me show you actually how to input hashtags. So what we can see here is I've got a piece of content that I've already uploaded. And then I can actually edit this. And then I can write a caption. Now, when you upload a new piece of content, you're going to see this same option to write a caption. And this is when I recommend you put in your hashtags right when you before you post, not like an hour or two after you post it. So always include your hashtags before you actually hit the publish button. And if I go ahead and start to include some of those hashtags I saw. So motivation, maybe a really high volume one. Uh, we can put in something like results. We can see also a very popular one. Something that we could do, this is kind of an older quote. Um, so we could say throwback Thursday. This is a very popular hashtag, T, B, T, throwback Thursday can see there. Um, and that's kind of appropriate because this is a bit of an older quote. And if I was posting this on a Thursday, then that would make sense. It's actually a Wednesday today. But you can see that you can include those themed hashtags 
that happen on Instagram on a kind of weekly basis. So what else could I put in there? Um, maybe hashtag learning. Let's see how popular that one is. Learning is fun. Learning. So you can see you can just keep including those there as you want. Now one cool thing is you can also look at this website. You can type top hashtags on Instagram. And if we come down, there's a pretty cool list here at top dash hashtags.com and this can also give you some ideas about what hashtags to use so love fashion beauty happy cute you can see that tbt throwback thursday very popular you can see friends repost style travel fitness no filter amazing instagram beach Swag, motivation, you can see number 61. So those are the three ways that you can identify the hashtags to use. Number one, use that discovery search bar and have a look at those related hashtags. You can also come into the top influencer accounts and see what really are the hashtags that they are using that could be very niche specific for you. And you can also look at the top hashtags on Instagram if you want to find those really top hashtags that you can include and remember the key to this and the reason that this gets you more visibility it is because people search for hashtags or they even follow hashtags on instagram and so this is an incredible strategy that you can use to increase the vis vis visibility of your posts just by including these simple hashtags and maybe taking a minute or two to do that before you post your content